Mayor, can you tell us about your projects in, in our municipality, please? Yeah, so to begin with, my municipality is in Victoria, Tarla. It's in Central Luzon, the first exit of the Tarlac, Pangasinan Union Expressway. So some of the projects that we're focusing on is sustainable agriculture and uh, alternative um, livelihoods because one, the problem with the low price of rice. So we want to move into other, we want to diversify, create integrated farming projects plant high value crops, herbs, so we tie up with different um, uh, organizations who can help, who has uh, access to markets, and we try to uh, produce what those market needs and those will provide uh, better income for our farmers. Yeah. Well, what led you to focus on the agricultural sector in your municipality? Because um, primarily my town is an agricultural town. Um, our main crops are rice and sugar. But given the low, uh, the low margins, the low income from these crops, we want to venture into higher, um, higher in rates of income, uh, livelihood. So, like we want to focus on high, high value vegetables. Uh, we want to do processing, and we also want to do sustainable agriculture because the mindset of our farmers, um, they don't prioritize the health of the soil. So, if we can improve the health of the soil, we can improve better, uh, we can produce better crops, which will be, uh, we would, which will have a niche and we can sell to higher markets like Metro Manila high-end market or export market. Uh, and what, what's your vision for your municipality? Uh, and also, do you have any plan to collaborate with other municipalities or towns nearby? So my main vision in the agricultural side is, um, yeah, we want to be, uh, in Tarlac, we want to be a model or an area that's focused on sustainable agriculture and an uh, area that can develop high-value crops very efficiently and sustainably. Um, one of our visions is we're developing an agro-industrial processing zone in partnership with the provincial government. They developed a 15-hectare uh, agro-industrial site where we can have future cold storages, processing. That will be the the stepping stone, so we can we can have a, we can tap the export market and the more urban area markets. We also have, we're launching tomorrow uh, our municipal processing facility. So if we have a bumper crop or we have an abundance of a certain crop. We can process it and it doesn't go to waste. Yeah. One of the things I've been also working on properly is our uh, big uh, is our soil, our solid waste management for sustainable agriculture or organic farming. You need a lot of compost, and we process our waste properly. We treat it to be organic fertilizer, and this will help the town by minimizing our dumping fees to landfills. And again, we get support. Uh, we get to support our farmers with uh, sustainable agriculture and fertilizer. So that will be linked up with the production of our high-value crops. Uh, currently, uh, what does your uh, province and uh, municipality produce in terms of uh, agricultural products? Um, so primarily, um, we're the, the, when, when we're in the top five rice-producing provinces in the whole Philippines, and Sugar cane because of the uh, central azucar, the CAP, the central azucar area, the tarla. But um, in terms of high value crops, we're still jump starting it. We're, we're assisting farmers, providing them the support in terms of mechanization, fertilizer, um, land access, labor component, and marketing. So we can jump start. So if ever the prices of rice and sugar drop, our farmers won't be affected and they will have alternative incomes to, to sustain themselves. How did, you know the idea is brilliant, uh, Mayor, uh, how did the farmers accept this kind of innovation that you are going to embark? Was there any resistance? Well, at first they were skeptics, but we're developing small pockets of demo farms to showcase the technology. Uh, that is um, 
directly managed by our agricultural teams so they can see oh we're producing these uh, high value crops so they just have to replicate then we give them the assistance we we make sure they have a market to sell the crops if ever they um, if ever they get to produce it because a lot of the farmers they're just breaking even with rice production so they're really looking for new alternative sources of income and livelihood. Do you intend to collaborate also with other international, uh, let's say, organizations? Of course. We've been, uh, currently we're already working with a few number of uh, international entities, Japanese mainly. Uh, we're working, Koreans are dialoguing with us. Their, their, their standards are very high. But if we do it in an organic, sustainable way, or we help the farmers through management of their farms, I think we can provide what these companies need for, for our export. Because like for Japan, for example, um, chemical residues are very strict. So we have to really manage the farmers of what uh, inputs they use so we don't affect the whole uh, province or the municipal level. Why organic? I think organic, I mean, organic is not really, me personally, I'm organic because I want to help improve the soil. But I'm not imposing it, but because I control all the waste in the municipality, which I can compost it, that will be a lower, and I can sell it at a very subsidized cost to the farmers. It will help me too. Rather than I buy a lot of uh, chemical fertilizers, I want to go organic because I control the waste. and. Two, it will help improve the soil. That's what we really lack for our farming is because our soil is very acidic. We need to improve the soil health of our uh, farms. Down the road, what do you think are the challenges that you need to face in making this uh, endeavor successful? I think for me it's like uh, the integration because there are many components to agriculture so we have to have Everything has to be implemented at a timely pace from the land preparation, the seedlings, the labor, fertilizers. And if any of those components are not up to level or not coordinated properly, the whole project fails. Of course, especially we have to go through government bureaucracy. But we have to have everything has to be at the right time, in the right place. And so that is, I think, the biggest hindrance. It's, it's all about overall coordinating the different agencies of the government to focus on the, the project, the agricultural project. What do you think is the future of our food security? And what, what will you tell to our young generation? For food security, um, yeah, I think the thing is we have to create our food on a more sustainable, healthier um, uh, direction. So it's not just about producing quantities, but the quality of the food we produce. So we can, um, you know, it, it's more healthy for our generation. And the youth, um, yeah, we have a problem that there are a lot of, um, we're losing the next generation of farmers. But me, before I became a mayor, I was an organic farmer. and. I enjoy farming. It's like the manage my management side of it. I practice um, natural, free and natural farming, and this, and it was very analytical, I would say, because the model, the, the approach in farming now, it's monocrop. You just plant one crop, two crops, rice, sugar, and that I understand is very boring for the youth. But if you create like an integrated process of agriculture where you have vegetables, like pigs, chickens, uh, fish, and it's all integrated where one complements each other. It creates a new strategic where you're always thinking and I think that's what the youth want. So, um, like in my town, I've been dialoguing with the uh, high school group who's, who's um, active in backyard farming, the Hardineros. Um, I'm tying up with the different uh, Sangguniang Kabataan groups, SKs, that they get into backyard farming because that's now a requirement of the DNR for barangays to have backyard farms. 
another approach is um, one of the high schools we're developing to be an agricultural, sustainable agricultural high school where we can teach them the new, more, uh, more sustainable and integrated farming models. So it's just not one dimensional. And eventually that we can tie it up with test stuff. So that's the model that I want. So our farmers now, they have to be more, um, with the youth, they're more proactive, they always research, and that's what farming needs. We have to be more modern and more analytical of how we do it. Any message to our youth, uh, Mayor? Yeah, I think get into farming. There's a lot of opportunities in agricultural now. You just have to research. The internet is now at our fingertips. You just have to, um, everything is researchable. Uh, you don't have to have a formal degree to be a and agriculture, you just you know get into seminars, learn from communities, join your local cooperative. Then they have all these tie-ups where they can help you jumpstart your backyard farming. For me, as agriculture, like you know, I always wanted to have access to good, healthy, to clean, healthy food. I wanted to grow my own food, so I know how it's being grown. And um, I think that's a start. Once you're growing your food for your home, for your family. Then you can eventually scale it up to be a business and market it, process it. So it's very exciting in agriculture.